In this module, we shall introduce alternating group definition. The alternating group on n letters consists of the even permutations in the symmetry group of n letters. Let's state the theorem. If n greater than equal to 2, then the collection of all even permutations of 1, 2, up to so on and n letters forms a subgroup of order n factorial over 2 of the symmetric group Sn. Now we shall consider an example and uh, you have, can see that row naught, row 1, row 2, mu 1, mu 2, mu 3 are the element of the symmetric group S3 and uh, we shall write the identity permutation in the form 1, 2, 1, 2 and the ident you can see that identity permutation is an even permutation so row naught is an even permutation and uh, now we shall write row 1 which is, uh, uh, as you know that, uh, this is our rotation. And uh, uh, 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1. In this way, we shall get the cycle 1, 2, 3. And we shall write the transpositions. And uh, uh, we shall start from right to left. And we shall write first 1, 2 transposition. Then we shall write 1, 3 transposition. And product of these two transposition is equal to 1, 2, 3. Uh, the cycle you can see, uh, uh, you can check uh, by multiplying both the transpositions from right to left. And now we shall write row 2. And row 2 is given by 1 goes to 3, 2 goes to 1, 3 goes to 2. 2 and uh, uh, when we add row 2 on 1 we shall get uh, 3 and uh, when we second time add the row 2 on 1 we shall get 3 goes to 2 and uh, when we third time add row 2 on 1 we shall get 2 goes to 1 so in this manner we shall get 1 3 2 and we shall write the uh, in the form of the product of transpositions from right to left and we shall get 1, 3, 1, 2. Now we express mu1 as the uh, product of transpositions. So 1 is fixed here, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 2, we have the transposition 2, 3. And here 2 is fixed, 1 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1, we have transposition 1, 3. And uh, mu 3, in mu 3, 3 is fixed and we have transpositions 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1. You can see that we have uh, 3 even permutations and 3 odd permutations as uh, in the uh, previous theorem you can uh, you have uh, seen that uh, we order of alternating group is n factorial over 2 and uh, the order of group s3 symmetric group s3 is 6 and uh, the order of alternating group a3 is 3 so uh, row naught row 1 row 2 form a group alternating group uh, a which is denoted by a3 now in this slide uh, we have used the cycle notation to represent the elements of a3 which are row naught row 1 row 2 row naught can be written as 1 uh, which means that 1 goes to 1 2 goes to 2 3 goes to 3 and uh, uh, the row 1 is written as the cycle 1, 2, 3 and row 2 is written as the cycle 1, 3, 2 
and by constructing the Callis table, we can see that this form a group and this is the alternating group A3. Here uh, we have written in the first row the identity element 1, the cycle 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 3, 2. And uh, as you know that when we apply the I uh, multiply the identity element with uh, any permutation we shall get the same permutation. So we can easily fill 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2 and in the similar manner 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2. Now we multiply 1, 2, 3 with 1, 2, 3. And uh, as you know that uh, you shall operate the permutations from right to left. So first the permutation 1, 2, 3 would act. And then uh, this 1, 2, 3 will be acted. So we shall get 1 goes to 2 and here 2 goes to 3. So we have 1 goes to 3. And uh, 2 goes to 3. Here 3 goes to 1. So 2 goes to 1. And that is this one. And now we shall see the image of 3. 3 goes to 1 in this permutation. And uh, 1 goes to 2. So 3 goes to 2. And in this way we shall get 1, 3, 2 cycle. And this cycle is row 2. And when we multiply 1, 2, 3 with 1, 3, 2, that is row 1 with row 2, we shall get the identity permutation. And uh, uh, you can see that in this permutation, 1 goes to 3. And uh, in this permutation, we have uh, uh, 3 goes to 1. So we have 1 goes to 1. And uh, 3 goes to 2, or oh, and 2 goes to 3, so 3 goes to 3, and uh, 2 goes to 1, and uh, 1 goes to 2, so 2 goes to 2. So, in this way, we shall get the identity permutation 1. And see, in the similar manner, when you multiply 1, 3, 2 by 1, 2, 3, we shall get the identity permutation. And you can check it at your home. And uh, lastly, uh, now we multiply 1, 3, 2 and 1, 3, 2. And uh, you, uh, as you know that, we are uh, operating from right to left. So first we shall get 1 goes to 3 and 3 goes to 2. So we have 1 goes to 2. And uh, three, uh, 2 goes to 1. 1 goes to... 3. So 2 goes to 3. And uh, 3 goes to 2. And here 2 goes to 1. So 3 goes to 1. We have in this way the cycle 1, 2, 3. Uh, in the similar manner, you can find the alternating group of the symmetry group S4. And as you know that uh, the order of S4 is 4 factorial, that is uh, 4 into 3 into 2, uh, that is 24. And uh, what would be the order of the alternating group A4, that is uh, 12. And uh, you can uh, try this uh, example at your home and uh, uh, you can construct the Callis table in the similar manner. And you shall see that uh, the um, uh, alternating group A4 with 12 element form a group.